Welcome back to Get to Know Cars. I am Chris, and today we have yet another beast of a truck for you. This is a 2023 Ram 2500 Tradesman 4x4. Big shout out to Bruce Woodring Auto here in Henderson, Kentucky for giving us access to today's car that we're going to review. You can find them online at brucewoodringauto.com or stop by and talk to my friend Sabino. He'll be glad to assist you. This has the six foot four bed on it. And under this massive hood, we have a 6.4 liter heavy duty Hemi MDS V8 connected to an eight speed automatic transmission. We're gonna get 410 horsepower and 429 pound feet of torque. And at the front, we have that classic front end with a lot of chrome. Actually, I still kind of like chrome. I know a lot of people like the blacked out looks, um, but as someone who likes chrome, I actually would say this is just a little too much uh, for the front. We've got our uh, tow hooks right here at the front. And you can tell this is more of a base model. We have uh, these plastic pieces where there could be some fog lights, so we don't uh, we don't get that. We have 18 inch uh, rims here, and we are rocking some 275, 7018s, front and back. Got our nice big side mirrors. You got your main mirror and your blind spot alert. And uh, these are heated, which would be nice in the winter. Don't have to worry about that freeze up. Uh, on the doors, again, another obvious, this is a more base model, just these plastic handles. You don't have the keyless lock and unlock. You're going to have to get your fob out for that. And if you uh, get locked out, you do have a keyhole right there. <laughs> we do have the uh, side step on this, which is nice. Uh, we have a fuel door that does not lock, uh, but you are going to have to deal with a cap when you go to refuel this 31 gallon gasoline tank coming around to the back nothing too crazy going on back here we got the chrome theme continuing we have our receiver we got our connectivity uh, for trailers the tailgate does not have the soft open so it will just drop uh, if you let it so you're going to want to watch that Got a nice nice bed liner in here, some uh, tie down spots, and we do have uh, some connectivity over there. We do have a, have a port right here. Take a look at that. There it is. There's our three pro. And we will also notice we have the sliding uh, rear window, which is always a nice touch on the truck. Coming underneath. We have a full-size spare tire right there, which is awesome, just in case the uh, unforeseen does happen. Let's head into the inside, check this thing out. Here is the key fob for the Ram. I like the uh, badging on the back. Not a lot going on here though. Lock and unlock, and you are gonna have to use this uh, getting in and out of the vehicle since it does not have the keyless uh, lock and unlock feature. All right, starting here at the door panel, not a lot going on, a lot of just plastic, good amount of storage though for some drinks and uh, work gloves and whatever else you might need. Got a plastic handle. Um, it's definitely very base. We have our window controls, lock and unlock. And then you do have a little square button right here at the top, which is gonna let you decide top or bottom, which one you are power adjusting. It'll allow you to switch between them. We have our light controls uh, over here to the side, as well as our mechanism to light up the, uh, the gauge cluster there. Steering wheel, very, uh, very basic with the functionality that you need for your, for your phone calls, for navigating the screen up in the gauge cluster, and then of course your cruise controls. This will allow you, uh, in, if you want to go into the manual to adjust your gears yourself, especially in those lower gears. You have that option right here on the wheel. We have a, about an eight inch uh, touchscreen uh, center display there with a lot of manual uh, buttons. And I'll actually pop in here so you can see the uh, center screen. We got a push to start button. 
it's here. You have your you have all the connectivity you need. You have your radio station and everything. Like I said, it's all touch screen. Seems to seems to be, you know, pretty responsive. We have uh, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, various USB options down here, USB and USB-C, which is nice. We can uh, engage four-wheel drive using uh, this lever right here. We have our gear selector. We don't have the uh, stock piece. We just get a uh, turn knob, which is nice and simple. We have manual controls for the single zone climate. We have our trailer bra braking mechanism right here. And then we have our traction control off button and our tow haul button. So when the vehicle's actually off, these turn off so you can't see what they were. So we were actually trying to figure that out before we turned the car on. Uh, nice good size vents. Uh, you got a 12 volt right up here on the top, kind of in this little cubby for storage, which is pretty cool. Um, I really like, I'm going to go ahead and turn the vehicle off because it is very low on fuel. Um, I like the center. Uh, console in here. You get three cup holders. You get a nice uh, nice size storage area with uh, another USB here in the middle. And then of course, as we see with other vehicles, it does double as another seat if you need one. Just folds right up and then folds right back down. Unlike you see in a Chevy where you have to pull the little cloth loop to get it to go back down. This just up and down. You don't have to pull anything or any latches or anything like that. Got this nice little storage ledge right here. I like this over what we see in the Chevys with the second like glove box. I like that this is just open. I think this is actually better. You got some rubberized material there. And then we have our standard glove box right here. We have our option here to slide open that back window for a little bit extra air. Of course, our dome lights. We got a spot for some sunglasses. And what's really interesting, your passenger, if they uh, are obsessed with looking at themselves, they are going to have the option to do so just with no light. If you need to look at yourself, you won't be able to. At least this one, you don't get a vanity mirror. Here's a more up-close shot of the uh, gauge cluster on the RAM. Still rocking the uh, analog look with a small screen in the middle, which uh, does help. And, and right now it's very terrifying because I only have nine miles of range and i got to get back to the dealership. So uh, hopefully it works out. All right, and here we are in the back seat. As you would imagine, good amount of room. I do feel like the seats are leaning back just a little bit more, so this probably isn't the absolute normal driving position that I would be in. Still plenty of room. We do get these, uh, we don't get like the all weather matting. We get the uh, like material cloth mats. Um, I don't like these as much as rubberized ones, um, but they'll, they'll just have to work. You could always buy some yourself. I do like that we get a couple cup holders down here. That's a pretty cool uh, touch. We got a little cubby hole right here. You're not going to be able to store much in there, but you do get it, as well as a couple of climate uh, climate vents that you can turn on and off with the little scroll wheel down there. Um, it doesn't look like, though, back here we have any connectivity as far as USBs and so forth. We don't have a fold-down armrest, um, which usually you want that for your cup holders. We've got those right there, so it's perfectly fine. We do not have pockets in the back of the seats either so it's kind of a give and take thing it's like you, you don't get everything but you get some things um, the seats do fold up all as one and it's kind of an interesting movement because the back has to adjust to let them up as you can see see that the interesting movement right there i will say doing this is very easy um, got a good amount of storage down in here i like that they have actually kind of sunken in these little cubbies right here for you i think that's really practical i like that a lot and then bringing it down we're in like the chevys i feel like you really have to tug it um, it kind of latches a little bit better this one just kind of comes down with a lot of ease so i do wonder um, if it's possible for that to come down if you had them up while you're driving or something but if you have them up you probably have something back here holding them in place anyway Thanks so much for hanging out today and learning about this Ram 2500. Hope you learned something. If I missed anything, post it in the comments. It's all about sharing the knowledge. So I always appreciate that. Uh, appreciate your feedback and your information. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, put the pedal down, and we will see you in the next video.